August 2016, Microsoft introduced some inventory and sales forecasting functionality in Dynamics 365 for financials. So let's take a look at it. There's really a couple things you need to do. First of all, you need to get the add-in. So to do that, you go to Dynamics 365 homepage. You want to go to Service and Extensions, click on that, and then search for the Sales and Inventory Forecast functionality. Here it is right here. Just click on that. It'll load into your system. You may have to log out and log back in to get it, but that's the first step that you want to do. Next, there's some simple setup you may want to take a look at. So to get to that, let's search on Forecast. We go to the screen here. The sales and inventory forecast functionality in Dynamics 365 for financials is based on actual activity within your system. You cannot put in new sales forecast numbers or inventory forecast numbers. The functionality in Dynamics 365 for financials will give you those numbers. So it looks at historical data, looks at your current inventory levels, and will show you both the inventory forecast and the sales forecast. This is a simple setup. You can set the buckets that you want to have in your forecasts. You can also set up how often you want it to run, but I'll show you how you can run it on an impromptu basis. So the next step is to look at some items, and I'll show you how this works. Let's go to one of the items that I have some sales activity in. It's this item down here. When you add the sales and inventory forecast functionality in Dynamics 365 for financials, it'll add in this forecast section down here. If you click on forecast, you can go to the setup that we were just in. You can also show the inventory forecast and the sales forecast. And you can also create a purchase invoice right from this information here. So what we're looking at here is the inventory forecast. If we switch to the sales forecast, this is where Dynamics 365 for financials is going back and looking at past sales and forecasting for the next few months. So let's take a look at the inventory forecast here. I've got a current inventory of 10. You can see that over here. It also shows in the graph. My forecast of sales per month are just over six chairs. So you can see how the inventory forecast declines by roughly six chairs over the next few months. So what I can do here is I can also then, from this information, I can create a purchase invoice. I suspect that when the purchase order functionality is released in Dynamics 365 for financials, that'll also be a function that we can go to directly from this information. But for now, what we can do is we can click on this and we can go to the Create Purchase Invoice. This will bring up the Create Purchase Invoice screen that includes the default vendor for this particular item and the restocking quantity, which in this case is nine. So this is a regular purchase invoice within Dynamics 365 for financials. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. So I'm back on the item screen. What I can do from this particular item is then go to Actions, and I can update the sales forecast. And when I do that, you can see that it has updated the inventory forecast based on those items that I just received into my inventory. So the sales and inventory forecast functionality in Dynamics 365 for financials will give you a little preview of what's coming up in your business. So take a look at it. It's easy to add in and it's easy to use.